another tag and I thought it would be really cute because fall is my favorite time of year and any tag dealing with fall, talking about fall, makes me really, really happy. So I'll just go ahead and jump right in. This will come to no surprise to you guys if you've been on my channel for a while, but it is Leaves by Bath & Body Works and I like the white packaging with the gold lid. It's just, it's burning back there, which is burning every day, all day, any time of day. That is burning in my house. It just smells so good and warm and someone asked me to describe the scent. So since I suck at uh, explaining scents, they were so sweet and put it on the bottom of the candle. These are actually on all the bottoms, it's not just this one. But it says, a fragrance that embodies the richness of fall with all of its colors and pleasures. Featuring notes of golden nectar, ripe delicious apple, and red berries. And it just smells so warm and yummy. Really any warm scent um, with a hint of fruit in it makes me a really happy person. I'm not a flower smelling person, so mmm, just smells so good. And the only other thing that I don't like about fall is that I usually get sick. Right now I'm really, I don't know if you can tell, I'm like kind of nasally. Sinuses are acting up really bad, so excuse my nasally voice. I, this year, for some reason, I have completely changed my life and went from coffee to tea. I loved tea when I was a little kid. It was always hot chocolate. And then when I got older, when I needed um, something to help me wake up in the morning, it was always coffee, but, and like different coffee drinks from Starbucks. But now I've been obsessing over teas, hot teas, cold teas, obsessing. But if I do hot teas, um, to like warm me up or something like that, it has been orange flavored teas. Amazing, so refreshing and delicious. Absolutely love them. Um, Tazo has sweet orange rind? Sweet orange something. Just go out there and try the orange teas. They're so, so good. Like, step away from the comfort zone of green teas and black teas. Just welcome it. Welcome the orange teas because they're really, really delicious and it will change your life. Okay, I got one. Okay, so... I would have to say my fondest memory uh, during the fall would have to be going home on fall breaks or getting out from school. That's usually when all the holidays are. So, oh, okay, now I got it. So every single, I grew up on a farm and also grew up deep into the woods. Like, we didn't live in the city, we didn't live, where our closest Walmart was 15 to 20 minutes away. Which I, I grew up like that. I'm used to driving long, long distances to get where I need to go. Um, anyway, every time we'd have like a break or something, we'd go down the road to my great uncle's house. And he would have his home cooked meals. He'd have greens and sweet potatoes and cornbread. And it's like the most delicious food, like home cooking that you've ever had. And everybody would come there during lunchtime and eat there. But also um, a great fond memory that not just food, but we would go out into the woods and explore like pretty much every day we got home from school or like just on a weekend or even like on our school breaks during the fall because it's cool there's not any snakes out or spiders you don't have to worry about those things being out there because it's finally cold and like snakes and spiders don't like the cold let's be honest so i always enjoyed that also enjoyed um walking down the farm I mean, me and Garrett's first date, he came over to the house and we watched The Ring, which has nothing to do with this. And we went and spent two or three hours walking around the farm, walking in the woods and just talking and being completely away from everything. It's very peaceful. It's very mind clearing. Like sometimes I'll go home and just walk around by myself just to really like soothe and clear my mind. And it's really, really nice. So that is one thing that I really do miss about growing up in the country. And now I live in the city, so everything that I do, like, people see me do. I can, you can't really take a peaceful walk. There's always going to be somebody walking by you or almost hitting you with a car. But um, that would be my most, that would be my best memory for the fall time. Winged eyeliner. Yeah, it's, well, I've been winged eyeliner for so long, so I kind of want to say dark lips, like bold lips, but... Like today I'm rocking a bold lip. I'm wearing the Cranberry Crush by Jordana little lip pencil thingy. And it just makes me feel good. But the only reason I don't like to wear dark lips that often. Like during the cold, when it's like really cold here. Which it won't get that cold here till February. But when it does get really cold here, I like to wear them. Because 
here it's so humid and so hot that it, like will run down my chin and like there's no point to it because it's not going to stay there so winged eyeliner just because the climate I am forces me to be so if you've been with me for a while then you know that I'm not really big on like body mist body sprays perfumes especially perfumes because I'm one because they're way too strong body mist because I never found one that I really liked the only one that I liked was the warm vanilla sugar from uh, what's it called Bath and Body Works <laughs> here I got these really cool earrings and my hair gets caught in them all the time Francesca's by the way um, anyway so I discovered one recently I first I got the perfume and it's the amber blush um, smell goody thing this is the body mist or fragrance mist the other one was a perfume the perfume smelled amazing but it was so strong I just could only wear it like maybe once a week um, just to get over it but this stuff I spritz on myself multiple times a day it's just amazing and like just bask in it it's like the most warm beautiful yummy cozy scent and this doesn't have a description on it mm. if I find one online I'll leave it right here right now as I'm trying to figure this out but this one's three fluid ounces it was six dollars for this one $14 for the large one and then if you wanted the perfume is 30 bucks which this is gonna last me all year which I've already used a good bit of it so maybe it won't oh no I love that stuff though they've had it all year I think it's only a year old but it smells amazing like you need to go try that stuff out like stat it's like very warm and musky but cranberry -y, maybe berry like I don't know I can't I showed you I, whatever I'll figure it out my all t well I can't just choose one favorite Thanksgiving food because everything's good pretty much well everything I love everything about Thanksgiving food except for the turkey it's not that my dad my dad cooks the turkey and my mom does the dressing stuffing whatever you want to call it um, and it's not that he does it bad it's just even fried turkey he bakes his and my uh, Garrett's family they fry it no matter what it's just doesn't taste good I just don't like the way turkey on the bone tastes I love ground turkey it's just so strange because my dad brines it he seasons it really really well he bastes it and all these amazing things and it should be good to me it's just I don't like it I never really did the only thing I like about the turkey is the wishbone but let's see what else um my mom she makes the best dressing you'll ever have with like her homemade cornbread it's so freaking good my uncle makes the best amazing turnip greens if you've never had turnip greens you need to try some don't get the canned crab don't get it from a restaurant because they don't know what the hell they're doing you need to google southern recipes for if it doesn't have a ham hock in it don't don't go near it anyways what was i saying oh it's uh sweet potatoes like candy sweet potatoes my uncle does it and it's so good and delicious i've tried to make that recipe thousands of times and no matter what without fail it's gritty and crunchy and I put too much sugar in not enough butter cook it too long don't cook it long enough I just I can't get it right and he doesn't even like he'll like turn it on go sit maybe take a slight nap like a five minute nap or lose himself in a paper then just stroll in there oh it's ready to turn off and it's always different the time he always does it different I don't know what he does but I gotta figure it out I gotta figure it out that is my mission I'm gonna figure that one out but everything those are like our staples that we always have at thanksgiving then like everybody else will bring like a salad um some kind of dessert um some kind of dip some appetizers my dad always makes this crawfish dip which is so good which i might i know how to cook that one so i might do a video on my vlog channel and show you how to do that anyways enough about thanksgiving food i'm not going home for thanksgiving this year so all i'm gonna get me and gary are gonna cook some things but because we're spending it together down here because we both have to work but we're going to, um, my mom's bringing me some of her dressing, so I'm really excited about that. First of all, we don't call it autumn, it's fall. Um, here, the, when fall for everybody else, it's still summer here. Whenever it's winter everywhere else, like up north, it's fall here. So, fall starts off being like really cool, maybe like 60s and like where you need a jacket and like a scarf or so, like really cold in the morning then in the afternoon it'll get up to 70 to 80 degrees so it's you have to dress dress in layers like you are literally forced to like um a t-shirt with a sweater with a jacket 
and then a vest and then a scarf and then like slowly peel back the layers throughout the day and then at night it gets really cold again so that's what that's like but then whenever it gets closer to Christmas um, it's last year for Christmas it was 75 degrees outside what the heck like really um but because it doesn't like I told you before it doesn't if it there is gonna be snow it'll be up where my parents house is up north uh, Louisiana and they'll maybe get like it'll just be like frost really it won't be like snow like thick snow it'll just be like a frost but really it's just cold in the morning at night it's not really frigid cold in during the day ever it has been this little guy he's not really a full sweater he's like a three-quarter length little slight bat wing um, He's just really, really comfortable, like really pretty color. It's really bright, so it brings some color into fall. But the only thing I don't like about it is that my ring has like snagged it everywhere. Like there's so many like little uh, snags in it from this boy, like no, without fail every time I wear it. Or if I wear a necklace with it that's long, like it always like snags it no matter what. But I love this sweater. It's so cozy and comfortable and soft and gorgeous. I got this from Francesca's collection. You were, It's like my new discovery. It's an amazing store. They have a lot of really great things like on sale. So I really do like this sweater a lot. It's really comfy and cozy. And I just hope I don't pull it to death and like have a thousand pills in it where there's not even a sweater left anymore. I would have to go with black which this is Sally Hansen's uh, complete salon manicure in black platinum I've had it for a little while and then last year's favorite is a new fit is the same favorite this year it's the little color workshop nail polish it's just one of those little cheap ones that you get for the holidays um, and little sets but the color oh my god Ugh, the color is just so beautiful but if I I've been painting my toes these colors and which has been amazing however on my nails I'm going with the same colors but I've been doing the salon impress nails you know um, Nicole Scherzinger she did the commercial impress but I'll show you a picture right now um, of my favorite ones they're like the oxblood color it's gore just I can't even tell you okay growing up football games because that's the town I lived in was like football all the time my family still like football all the time but I've wised up and have gotten annoyed with the sport, so now i um, definitely jumping in leaves, which that's really all I've always been that way as a kid. Like, I've always been the one who would, like, roll down a hill, like, be the first one to do that. I'd be the one to first jump in a mud puddle, but um, I've jumped in a pile or two of leaves, and I'm not going to lie, it is not as fun as they make it seem unless it's just you see where they pile it and there's no limbs in there, because usually when you are picking up like leaves and stuff there's limbs on the ground too so you're raking the li limbs up too so it's never been as fun and awesome as it seems in the movie so well skinny jeans because they hold everything in and make everything tight and perfect but I'm gonna go with leggings because they're awesome I just need to get me a good pair of leggings because mine are from forever 21 from like five years ago and they stretch out every single time I wear them so I have to wash them every time I want to wear them it's just a pain in the butt but yeah, leggings. I'll say leggings. They're really, really comfortable and you can come home from work and just fall on the couch and go to sleep and be perfectly content. Okay, so I'm going to say combat boots only because, well, I don't own a pair of combat boots. So I do have a pair of Uggs. These are by Rocket Dog and I've had these for at least seven years. And these are really comfortable, but I wear them as house shoes. Like I have a pair of mock skin Moxic, moss, moccasin, moccasin house shoes that I got from Target uh, a little over a year ago that I wear during the summer and during spring and stuff. But whenever it's cold in the house or outside, um, I'll wear these to go walk the dogs with, or just to wear around the house. So I do not wear those in public. I do not wear those in the grocery store. I think they're. We'll see those. I don't think that are that bad. You can roll them down, um, which with the first couple of years I had them, I did that, but. I like to wear them like this so they're like knee highs so they're more flattering but please let's start something with me just fab came up with an ug line and they're so ugly like why do you want to get uggs that look like rain boots that are sparkly and bright pink i don't understand it like that is not attractive or appealing to anyone but children and it it just never looks good even if you're like I just want to be comfortable I don't care it just looks so horrible everybody anyone anywhere looks horrible like 
a sh boot that comes down even like it's just a little bit or a lot and like the toe is just like completely pointed down it's just not flattering they literally make me want to vomit whenever i see them if you want to wear them rock them it's just i'm just going to look like look at you like this whenever i see you okay you might notice the lighting's a little different i completely forgot this question so i'm inserting it in now uh, while i was editing it but um, I personally think pumpkin spice latte is disgusting. My husband Garrett really loves it and every single time I go to Starbucks they make at least 10 while I'm there to my one um, Trenta sweet and black iced tea. So I'm not the right person to ask. I'm like the very rare one in the group that doesn't like it. I don't like the smell. I just don't like pumpkin at all in general. So what you gonna do? I don't really have a favorite fall TV show mainly because I don't have time to watch TV anymore. Um, but if I had to choose my all-time favorite show, like whenever it comes on, I'm excited. Whenever I do have a moment, I'll sit down and watch it, is Castle, which is awesome, or The Big Bang Theory. That one's always fun. Um, I've been really enjoying, like, Food Network just in the morning because I like the actual food shows, like with Jada, with Pioneer Woman, with Ina Garten, with those type people. I love Sandwich King. He is freaking hilarious. So he's probably like my number one. His little buddy, his little buddy, his little son Lorenzo is just so adorable. And the last question is going to be the answer of like Christmas songs. I start to listen to Christmas music in November. As soon as I hear like sleigh bells ringing, a ding 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 ding, anything like that, I'm just automatic like Fall's here! It is here! And like usually to other people that's like winter, but no. For here that means fall is here. So that's really it. Any Christmas song. Not a specific one, just any Christmas song. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was fun and I tag all of you to do it because I think it's really fun. And I'd really love to learn about you guys and what your favorite things are in sweater, weather, tag, whatever. Um, your fall traditions, memories, what you like, what you don't like. But if you don't want to film a video and leave it as a video response, you can just leave it in the comments below. I think that'd be fun. I love reading your comments and answering you back. But guys, thank you so much for watching again. And I will talk to y'all very soon. Bye.